What's good everybody, it's Enrique Moakio Screen Printing, T-shirt booming. So today, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be teaching you how to screen print some T-shirts and water bottles. So for me, screen printing is super important. The reason why I got into screen printing is because I wanted to start my own fashion brand. And um, from there, I was studying art in Stevens Point. That's where I went to college. And from there, it kind of just like led into like me owning my own screen printing company. So I'm gonna show you how to run your own business, how to make some shirts, and how to be your own boss. So today, I'm going to show you how to print some t-shirts and water bottles. So screen printing is a method used to make high quality promotional items. I'm going to show you a skill that you could use to make your own money, create your own hours, and be your own boss. So check it out. So today, we're going to be printing shirts. We got a, over 100 shirts for a local Milwaukee choir group. Um, and then we have 2,000 water bottles to print. This is going to be a long day, but hey, if you don't work hard, you don't eat. So what I'm going to do is just I'm going to like create the logo as if it was like one logo with the name and then after we print hers we'll just tape up her name so that we can print the rest. You'll you'll understand once I'm doing it. And then All right, so now that we got the artwork sized correctly, the next step is to print the transparency and as you can see I have the printer here with the transparency loaded in the printer. Um and for me this is a luxury because I remember when I was starting out um as a screen printing business or a screen printing service, I didn't have a printer, I didn't have the transparencies. So I had to email them to FedEx Kinko's, have them size it, have them print it. And each sheet cost me like two to four dollars and sometimes I'd have to order two. And if the size was all fucked up or messed up, I would have to reorder it and like make a trip all the way down to Brady Street and go back to my house. And it was just like this huge process and this is saving us a lot of time, a lot of money. And most of all, just allowing us to be in full control of everything that we do here at, at, at our shop. Thank you. Yeah, I just do all this shit work with you, bro. Yo, so now that the transparency is printed, the next step is to burn the screen. All right, so now that the screen is on the exposure unit, I just gotta lock it in. and let it burn. All right, so I just burnt the screen. The next step is to wash the stencil out. All right, so the screen basically, as you can see, uh, I'm letting it kind of like rinse and the image is kind of starting to poke out. So it's basically what I like to do is like I like to get it wet on both sides of the screen and then once it's kind of like, um, once the image is kind of like poking out, then I like apply like the water pressure and they clear all of the um, emulsion out. So for me, like this is like a really important step because if the image doesn't come out crispy, then the prints won't come out crispy. So you gotta take this like pretty serious. And um, yeah, you have to take it real serious just because you wanna make sure that all your customers are getting like crispy designs, like high quality resolutions um, or high quality resolution prints. Um, that's really important because what we do here is, is serious. You know, we take all of our customers work serious and we just want to give them the best product. All right, so now that the screen is dried, burned, and uh, placed on the screen, next step is to tape off the clear edges. Uh, so the reason why we gotta tape off those clear edges is because that's where the ink passes through, and if you notice that there's no emulsion to block it here, so that'll damage the shirt or whatever you're trying to print on. So there's a bunch of logos on here. I put a bunch of logos on here because it conserves screen, so I don't have to burn a bunch of screens. I can just tape them up, and when I'm using them, I'll have them untaped. So the ones that are, I'm not using at the moment, they'll be taped. If you can just keep recording, I'll just kind of like walk through the process. Um, pull up. 
for the vi hey, for the video, bro, can I recommend some, bro? What's up? We should get it clipped like before you put it on, like me put a logo and like be like, this is logo for the cups. You know what I'm saying? Because we're gonna cut. Once you cut from you running the store, we're gonna need something you showing. You know what I'm yeah, saying? For this one, this is oh, I got you, bro. Like, yeah, yeah, just simple shit. Like that's for like. I like that though, but for this, this is more for um, social enterprise, bro. Serious, like keeping it. No, this is like tutorial, like how to, so people can see like the long content view. You know. For sure, bro. But you can keep this in there. This dialogue. So like the quick clips, that's more for like TikToks and Reels. I think that'll be fire because it's more movement. This, I just want people to kind of grasp the concept, learn how to do this. Can you see you in the reflection? Not really, bro. All right. Yeah, the shorts, get them to these videos. Yep, yep, yep. All right, so I placed the image on here. So I'm just gonna place it on here really quick so that I could tape up the edges. This tape costs about $50 for six rolls. And I just use it to tape up edges. So that's a challenge when it comes to screen printing. Like it's not all money, like, oh, easy money. Everybody thinks like, oh, I'm gonna start screen printing and be rich. I wanna be next Virgil Abloh. Like, it literally takes time, it takes money, it takes effort, and some of the money that you spend, you don't see profit off of. Like if I bought 100 shirts, cool, like I know I'm going to make money off of that, but when I buy tape, this is going in the garbage. So, you know, there's a push and pull. You always got to keep that in mind when it comes to any business, and like be okay with it. Like don't be all mad like, oh damn, I got to buy paint, I got to buy tape, I got to buy this, I got to buy that. Because at the end of the day, like that's what keeps you afloat. Because if I didn't have this, I'd fuck up all the orders. So it's just it's just the tools of the trade. It comes with the comes with the business. Every business has that. You know, if if you have landscaping business, you have to buy gas for your lawnmowers. You have to get to a place. You have to buy stickers. You have to buy flyers to just pass out to hopefully get a client. Um, it's the same with this business, you know, there's, there's expenses that don't bring profit, but they're essential and you need to do them. And then you have to get comfortable with making those, those, those expend, expenditures, you know, cause you'll definitely get it back. Starting a business is like planting a tree, you know, or starting a garden. Like people always think like, oh, I grow my own plants, it's super easy, but it actually takes a lot of work. You have to peel the weeds, you have to plant the seed, you have to dig the hole, you have to water the flowers, you have to tend to it, remove the weeds, all that type of stuff, just to hopefully get a yield. Screen printing and starting your business is the same thing. You have to put in all this work to hopefully get a profit. And But once you get that profit, it's that like tenfold law. You know, you plant something a foot, you gain 10 feet of a tree. Same with the business. You spend this amount of money, you gain this amount of money. But nothing works unless you work. So what I'm doing now is I put these papers, like these are like wax papers, like packing slips that come with the orders. So I'm just placing them down because they have like a wax to them so that like ink or water won't go through. And then I'll put tape on top of them because I'm going to use those images in the future and I don't want this adhesive to rip out the emulsion. This is fire, bro. I know what. I don't know if it's if it's real or not, but I, I never heard nobody say this. This is like a tip for me, bro. When you start it's still, your it's still recording. Yeah. yeah. When you start your uh, sentences, bro, be like, this tape costs fifty dollars. And then go into you know what I'm saying. And then go into your uh, smooth talking, bro. Yeah, but this. Yeah, no, it's still it's still like just uh yeah. smoother and shit. I got but, you, bro. So that, that's I get what you're like. That's for the the shorter kind. Of I got you, bro. This for like people who are really dead ass trying to learn how to screen print. Yeah, cause people watch this, man. Yeah, no, for real, for real. I did. I do. Yeah, you're gonna take over the screen printing game, bro. I'm not trying to take over. I'm just trying to. I'm not trying to take over the table. I just want to see. You know. I was watching uh, Yellowstone the other day, and like they were talking, like the dude was. He has a table, right? And there's a bunch of seats at the table, but none of his family sits there. It's usually just him at the table by himself. 
and the daughter was like, well, why do you, you need a smaller table? He's like, no, I don't need a smaller table. And he was talking about that, like, it's not about who sits at the table, but it's more about, like, the people that you want to sit at the table having a, a seat. Like, being able to be able to sit at the table if they choose. I don't know, that probably doesn't make sense how I explained it, but he said some fire-ass shit. That's good, bro. Shit like that, just talking and shit. You watch Yellowstone? Nah, bro, I never watched Yellowstone. You know what it is? No. Bro, that's just cold, bro. No clue. What is Yellowstone? It's this rancher. He has, like, one of the biggest ranches in Montana. And, like, he owns most of the land. And then, like, the other land that he doesn't own is, like, owned by the natives. So, like, there's, like, this constant battle between, like, their land that was, like, meant for them and then his land that he, like, owns. But one of his sons is married to a native woman. So, like... There's a lot of conflict. It's just a good ass story, bro. But it's like some dude who owns his own shit. He's a hustler. It's a TV but, show? Yeah. But anyways, back to the screen. You know, as you can see, I got it all taped up. So the next step is to kind of like run a test print. Um, as you can see, I removed it from the, from, the, from the press. The reason why I removed it is because we don't need it on the press for what we're going to be doing. Um, but I wanted to place it on the press to lock it in the place so that I could tape it easier. So... Boom, we got this company's logo on here. Um, and then we're gonna run a test print. So what I usually do is, usually we print this way, place the garment on the pallet or the platen, print this way, but what I'm gonna do is flip it this way. Crazy, right? Yeah, bro, it's really crazy. What we're gonna do is run a test print. So I got a scrap t-shirt on here. And I'm just gonna print the logo just to make sure that everything's okay and everything's good with the image. So, looks pretty fire. Phone number, we got the business name, we got the lady's uh, name on there. So, run that through, and now we're able to start printing the shirts. So, first step, just gotta flood the image. Now that it's flooded, we'll be able to roll the image onto the screen, or onto the water bottle. So, my first mistake was I put too much ink to that so that it, it created these like bubbles. So what I'm going to do now is roll the water bottle. Boom, and that's how you print on water bottles. Custom cans, bro. I love this, bro. I love what I'm doing. Let's check it out. So we got the red bottle. I'm about to print some more shit on here. We're gonna print another logo on here. How does it look? UE services, custom mugs, tap in. Man, this mug will keep your drink hot, cold, whatever you want. You can put whatever you want in here. Coffee, water, tea, alcohol, milk, whatever you want in here. Um, but what better way to drink out of a custom mug with your own logo on it, your own brand on it. You know, this is like a high professional, high quality way to do it. This screen printing, so it's going to last forever. It's going to last pretty long. Um, yeah. Yo, you ever go to Starbucks and you see these mugs, they're like 25, 35, 45, $1,000? Tap in, go to Amazon, order your own mugs. You know, these are super high quality. This is damn near the same thing as a Starbucks mug. It just doesn't have Starbucks on it. You can come, order from Amazon, drop them off here and get your logo printed out. I'm gonna show you how to print this customer's logo on these, these tumblers. Bro Boom, you see the, there's nothing on here? Boom, now you got your own custom tumbler. You could even take this to Starbucks, say, hey, I want an iced chai latte pumpkin spice frappuccino with no ice, with no water and extra lemon. 
boom, there you go. You got your own custom water bottle right there with your own custom Frappuccino drink from Starbucks. Don't do this shit. Talking, right? Say some positive. Yeah, bro. Get their attention, bro. Yeah. How many everybody got their attention? Yell at their ass, bro. <laughs> so I think this is a really cool way to like promote your business. Um, you know, any custom promotional item is a great way to um represent your business you know like this is something you work really hard to create to start to establish um this is your livelihood you know what better way to like embody that and have everything that you like wear be your own you know like your own creation you know it's cool to like support other brands like nike carhartt starbucks whatever you know mugs you buy or you know like patagonia whatever it is you know it's cool to have it because it's high quality stuff but you can have your own high quality wear with your logo on it, you know, like those brands were somebody's creation. Somebody worked hard to establish those and they built a name for themselves. And I feel like anybody who has their own brand business, they should do the same, you know, like this is a beautiful thing. This is an awesome thing and, and be proud of it, you know. Um, he ordered a bunch of different colored water bottles. I'm just going to print one of each color for you all. Um, and the reason why I'm not running to the conveyor dryer yet is because I'm going to line them all up at the same time and just run them together so that I don't have to like fetch them, fetch them all at the end of the conveyor. All right, so this is the last water bottle. And for me, like, usually screen printers just like stick to what they do best. You know, some screen printers do t-shirts, hoodies, sweatpants, polos, whatever it is. I like to like expand my brand and expand my services to, to try to bring in more customers. You know, water bottles, tumblers, this type of thing is really important because a lot of nonprofits, a lot of organizations like use these kind of things. And even like Christmas time, this is like a great gift to give somebody for Christmas. You know, like a customized water bottle, a customized like coffee mug. Everybody drinks coffee. Imagine just like having a custom one that you created, something that you put together and gave somebody. Like it's a gift from the heart. Um, and it means a lot more. So that's kind of why I want to like expand my services to be able to like provide that type of stuff. You know, we want to we want to serve you. We want to serve our customer. And that's something to just keep in mind when you're running your own business. Like what other things can you do? to make your customer have a better experience shopping with you. So as you can see, so check it out. This came out a little fuzzy. Um, it does show the customer's logo and you can read it, but this isn't 100% great quality. This is mid, pretty mid. So what I'm gonna do is clean this so what I do to clean certain things, I came up with a cheat code. I bought these uh, baby wipes. And what I'm gonna do is just try to like carefully remove the image without spreading the ink. All right, boom. So now that the image is carefully removed without the ink being spread, I'm gonna dry it off. And um, if you want to zoom into the, the, the screen, you can kind of see that it's like blurry. So that's the reason why the image is kind of like messing up when it gets printed on the water bottle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit it with this screen opener. Screen opener. That's another cheat code. If you don't know, you don't know, you know.
Boom, so now that it's cleaned, I'm gonna flood the screen, put it back down, and try again. How does that look? Fire. Compared to the first one, this one's super crispy. This is something I can give to the customer. You know, you don't want to give no BS to the customer because they're not going to feel like you care about their needs. They're not going to want to come back to you in the future. And they're going to know that you're not putting all of your effort into their product. You know, who, who, who likes that? You know, when you go to the dentist, you're not going to like sit there and be like, well, this guy might do a good job. No, you want to know that you're going to get a good job every time. So that's what we like to do here. You know, we want to make sure that when you come to place an order with us, you're going to get what you want. All right. So that's how you print custom designs, custom logos on tumblers, water bottles, cups, anything that you can um, imagine that's a cylinder. This is how you do it. Um, tap in if you want to learn more about screen printing. Subscribe, like our videos. And... Um, just follow us to, to follow our journey of opening a screen printing shop. Um, we're going to be showing you tips, tricks, techniques on how we make a living printing t-shirts and now water bottles for our customers. So that's how you print on a water bottle, tumbler, or glass. Check us out for more videos. So what are we going to do? But we're going, bro, every day, recording it day in, day out. The livelihood, bro. Building shirts, making shirts for the community. Oh yeah, which is easy. So why is that important? Because, bro, building a business is something a lot of people want to do. Um, and you're doing it every day, bro. You're doing it creatively, making money, making a living. It's easier to get followers than it is. Bro, I can't, bro. But, uh, I forgot what I even said. It's easier to get followers than it is to get money, bro. You see a lot of broke bums out here? Hello. You see a lot of broke bums out here, but they don't got a lot of money because they focus on getting clout instead of money. Say it again. All right, words up. What do I say? Like, passionate. All right. Hey, you guys need to stop being worried about internet fame. And start being worried about getting some money to your name. That's not a slip, bro. Hey, for real though, because a lot of people out here worried about likes instead of building something like a business, something that helps out the community. You see a lot of broke, clouded up bums out here. Fuck them. Get some money. I'm sorry.